diapers is another very popular hybrid diaper. And they are, I feel like, made, they gear their communications more towards using disposable inserts. There are also compostable inserts, you can flush them, in theory. Um, so, for G diapers, and again, I don't have one of those, we never really checked out G diapers all that much. But they are more sized, so you would need, um, you need six small covers, six medium covers, and six large covers. Each of those sizes would cost you $108. And then for the small inserts, again, I went off of like the weight ranges for the disposable diapers to figure out how many I would need. So for small inserts for G diapers, I would need 1,776, which would be $519.48. And then for medium to large inserts, I would need 3,960 diapers or inserts, which would be $1,447.89 which brings the total cost of using hybrid G diapers, the disposable option, to $2,291.37. If, however, you decided that you wanted to use the cotton insert option, the reusable cloth insert option for the G diapers, you would need 24 smalls and 24 um, medium to extra large sizes, so each of those would be $132. And then a small, like six small, six mediums, and six large covers, each of those 108, bringing the total to $588. So you could use solely disposable and be $2,000 or 2200 um, or you can use solely cloth and be 588 or you can use a mixture of the two and be somewhere in between. Alright, we're almost done, not too much longer. Okay, so one size all-in-one diapers. So all-in-one diapers are diapers where they don't have a cover, you don't have a pocket that you need to um, stuff stuff into. And for this one, I did like four, I wanted to show you four different options because the options do vary quite a bit. So um, the most expensive one of the one that I looked at were 23, 24 Blueberry Simplex diapers. Um, in this case, they only had organic. That's something that the brand is moving towards. Um, most of ours aren't organic, so we didn't pay $29 for them. But, um, yeah, so this is a blueberry simplex all in diaper. I don't have it all like pretty and put together, but kind of what this looks like. I showed you guys them before, so it opens up. And it basically has an insert inside here, and then if you want to, you can stuff the tongue in, or you can keep it out, and let it lay on top. But anyway, that is the Blueberry Simplex, 24 of these guys, $718.80. Um, I also did for Bum Genius Free Times, again, Bum Genius is one of the most popular brands of cloth, modern cloth diapers out there, so a free time. I like to look at diapers with their snaps out first, so that's what that kind of looks like. It's a one size diaper again. The free times have two flaps and they are made of microfiber. So basically when you're folding it, you just do the two flaps together and there you go. Um, if you did 24 Bunch Genius free times, that was $454.88. And I do have a Bunch Genius Elemental, but I don't have it with me. Um, so 24 Bum Genius Elementals, so Elementals are um, similar to Free Times in that they're by Bum Genius and the outside cover is going to be the same, um, but the Elemental is organic cotton and it just kind of has one flap of cotton. So if you picture the diaper being down here, it's just like a arc of cotton that's on there. Um, 24 of those would be $598.80. And then there's also organic one size diapers by Thirsties. 24 of those would be $396. So you can see there's quite a range, just like there would be quite a range with the one size diapers for pocket diapers, there's quite a range for the all in one diapers as well. So don't think that if you're using all in ones that it has to be seven, eight hundred dollars. It could very well be much more affordable in the four hundred dollar range. Um, all right. So that is it. That is all the different types of diapers that I'm going to show you and tell you about. But let's talk about the laundry portion. I feel like that's not something that people often cover. So first I thought about the detergent and so I said, all right, well if I'm washing two to three times um, two to, every two to three days, that's approximately 
two to three wash extra washes a week which really isn't that much um, so I did it two different ways I looked at a pretty expensive I like powder detergents so my two estimates are on powder detergents so I did a really a pretty ex one of the higher end powder detergents on the market and said that um, if you I didn't go based exactly on the loads that's listed on there because I figure you're going to use more than um, that so I did fewer loads per box so I tried to be as accurate as I could be um, but if you use a pretty pricey one of the premium powder detergents you're going to be looking at about $230 for the two and a half years that your child is in cloth diapers if however you used more of an average priced powder detergent you're looking at more like $61 for the two and a half years that your child is in um, cloth diapers for more information on what type of um, detergents you can use, if you want to specifically look out and see like how much would it cost me to use this particular brand, you can look at flufflouniversity.com and they have a detergent index that tells you what detergents are recommended, what detergents aren't recommended, and then you can kind of go off of that. So I hope that was a little helpful for the detergent portion. Um, Water, heating, so the cost of the water itself to do your laundry and the cost of heating your water. I would have loved to get an estimate for this. I really would have, but I couldn't. Um, it's really difficult for me to tease out the increased cost for the water and for the heat for the diapers washing alone. So there was a few things that changed when we had a child. Um, obviously I was home for a little while and then my husband actually stayed home and still stays home with our son so we went from both of us having jobs and being outside of the house during the day to somebody being at the house at all times so that's gonna be an increase in your electric bill it's also gonna be increasing the amount of water that you are using so while honestly the increase hasn't been that much from a um, electricity standpoint for like so or like an energy bill standpoint um, it really hasn't been that much I definitely noticed that it goes more in the winter because we used to keep it really cold and now we have to keep it at a livable temperature <laughs> for the baby um, and then from a water standpoint it has gone up as well but again nothing like both increases were less than $50 and I can guarantee you then the majority of that is because somebody is here all day, not because we're washing two or three extra loads of laundry a week. If you think about it, parents frequently sign their children up for sports that require practice uniforms and game uniforms, and they're doing two or three extra loads of laundry a week, and you don't notice that in your bills. So I'm not too worried about the cost of um, water and heating the water. Sorry. So. Um, I didn't include that in there. If you wanted to, take a month and do three extra loads of laundry every, or do two to three extra loads of laundry every week and see what increases um, and let me know what it is because I'd be interested in finding out. Alright, so the grand finale. Again, these are not the lowest costs. You can get away with doing a lot lower. You can use coupon codes. You can you just you can buy on Black Friday and Earth Day, and you cannot use the brands of um, pale liners or whatever that I use. But this is a pretty good general average estimate of the cost of this type of diaper. So if you include the cost of accessories, which are the wet bags, the pail, the wipes, um, and the diapers, and the detergent that you would use for the two and a half years. For flats and covers, you're looking at $404.05 from birth to potty training for your first child. For your second child, you have the cost of your detergent, and that is it. For pre-folds and covers, you're looking at about $352.55 birth to potty training. For your second child, the cost of your detergent. For fitteds, if you used sized fitteds, the total would be $718.15. 
For your second child, though, it would be the cost of your detergent. For one size fitted diapers, your total cost for your first child would be $754.95, and for your second child, the cost of your detergent. For one size pockets, if you use the Bum Genius 5.0s, which were the more expensive of the two options that I've to told you about, $726.88 for your first child, cost of your detergent for your second child, which, you know, could be 60 bucks. Um, for the cheaper version of the one size pocket diaper, $592.46. Again, your second child would be the cost of your detergent. For the all in two diaper, your total would be $667.76 worth of potty training for your first child and the cost of your detergent for your second child. For the flip hybrid disposable options, assuming that you are only doing the wet bag and the wipes from the accessories portion. Um, it is $3,361.50 for your first child and $3,174.05 for your second child. If you go with the flip cotton reusable option, the cost for your first child is $546.96 and the cost of your detergent for your second child. For G diaper hybrid disposable option only, which would include the wet bags and the wipes only, your cost is $2,389.12 for your first child and $1,967.37 for your second child. For the hybrid or for the G diaper cotton only option, your for your first child, your cost is $869.66 and your second child will cost the, the amount of the detergent. For one size diapers, if you use the simplex diapers, your first child will cost you $1,000.46. Your second child will cost you the cost of your detergent. For Bun Genius Free Times, your first child will be $736.54. Your second child, the cost of your detergent. For Bun Genius Elementals, the $880.46 for your first child, detergent for your second. And last but not least, Thirsties, one size, all-in-one diaper, $677.66, and the cost of your detergent for your second child. So. Alright, so to recap, for your first child, disposable diapers will cost you about $1,800. For the most expensive option that I looked at for cloth diapers, it would cost you about $1,000. For the cheapest option for cloth diapering, it would cost you $352. For your second child, disposable diapers would cost you about $1,800 again. Um, and the most expensive all-in-one diaper would cost you about $60 if that's the detergent that you chose. $230 if you chose the most premium uh, powder detergent. And pre-folds would again cost you the amount of your detergent for your second child. So, in summary, yes, for the majority of cases, cloth diapering does save you a lot of money, particularly when you're having more than one child. However, cloth diapering exclusively doesn't always save you money if you include the hybrid options and only use disposable options for those. So, I hope I helped answer some of your questions. If you were cloth curious before and like the prices, I wish you luck on your journey. Um, but yeah, that is that. That is the math that I did. I highly encourage you, if you're interested in more, try doing it yourself. Um, you don't have to, of course, use one type of diaper the entire way. You can have two or three all-in-one diapers and mostly use pre-folds and fitteds. So this is by no means a summary of exactly what it's going to cost you, because um, most people have a variety of different types in their stash. So, best of luck, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> see you later, guys.